Hallelujah, all our brothers and sisters. Um, I want to come with a very powerful vision that the Most High gave me round about the um, the fifth, round about the fifth of August, twenty twenty four, brothers and sisters. Now, it is to do with what is going on over here in Babylon, UK. You all probably have already know, you already know, brothers and sisters, that there is unrest over here in Babylon, UK. And it's not civil unrest. Don't let anybody tell you that, oh, it's civil unrest. No, 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 no. It's nothing to do with civil unrest, brothers and sisters. This that's going on over here is um, blatant, right out racism. It is what it is. I have to call it that is at, at, as it is brothers and sisters um, I know people don't like to talk about race and stuff like that but if you you know if, if you're from another nation and you're not racist so you should be fine this is this video really is rebuking rebuking those people who have perpetual hatred in their hearts towards other people especially the Hebrew Yashahelites and this is where the danger comes in, brothers and sisters, because the vision that the Most High gave me is absolutely, absolutely powerful. Um, just a quick recap, if those of you are brand new, if you don't live in Babylon, UK, you don't really know what is going on. Just a very, very quick recap. Basically, this thing was planted by dirty Satan. Yes, it was. Yes, this thing of this... Um, racist unrest and um, these thugs carrying out havoc in society over here started on monday oh no when did it start it it started this week it started this week um what date is it today today is the 7th isn't it when did it start it yeah, sometime this week it started. So there's the 7th of August as I'm doing this video, brothers and sisters. So this unrest that is going on or going off is planted by the enemy. It is a setup. It is an agenda. And it's a test run. A test run of the real thing that is to come, brothers and sisters. But basically what happened is that... Um, a fallen angel, I'm calling it as it is, a fallen angel was sent to a Taylor Swift theme party, like a yoga type, a yoga type kids theme party. But the party was all about Taylor Swift. And I've done a video about that. If you haven't seen it, um, check out my playlist, please, please check out my playlist called UK Elections. UK election 2024 everything that you need to know if you got question watch the videos in your own time you will understand what the most I is saying blood must run blood must run this is a theme this is an order that the wicked pharaohs and caesars um covenant with satan for the people of babylon uk this is very very deep and very very wicked so this demon shape shifted into a human being and went and found himself at this Taylor Swift party because Taylor Swift forgot to order on her. All right, like I say, watch a video concerning Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift demonic summoning in the theme party. You need to watch that video, upload it yesterday. So this demon, this fallen angel shape shifted into a, a so-called black 17 year old teenager who nobody has never seen in their lives even the neighbors like would even know that he existed can't find no schools he has no friends he's got no trace of social media zero trace of social media but anyway it is what it is um so this demon shape shifted into somebody called axel so and so can't pronounce his surname and his parents are from from Rwanda Rwanda that's what they say so they said that this Axel 17 year old parents is from Rwanda anyway demon shape shifted fallen angel shape shifted into a 17 year old black kid went into this Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift theme party mind you according to the media this black kid has hardly left the house he hardly left the house 
This Taylor Swift party was 40 minutes from his home. How did he know? It's a fallen angel, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. There's no if, but some maybes, right? Chef shifted into this black kid, went in there, on a live, three little white girls, and um, attempted to take another 10 little white kids' life. All right? So then, obviously, the uproar started, even though the police, you know, arrested this so-called guy. So, you know, you know, when I think about it, brothers and sisters, I could understand why the so-called racist over here in Britain would be on the streets carrying on if the killer wasn't found. But apparently he's in police custody. He's to go to court and to try and to this and that, but that's not enough. They want to take it out on immigration and immigrants and black people and this and what. All sorts of foolishness, all right? So that is a story. That is why we have a uproar over here in Babylon, UK. So now the people are coming out. And now you understand that Babylon, UK has always been a racist country. It's not if, buts, or maybe. It just takes something to happen for the true colors of the racist to be shown. That is it. That is, is what it is. Um, is everybody over here in Babylon UK racist? Absolutely not. So this video is not for the people who have a good heart. It's not for you. This video is literally for the racist. So if you're not racist, don't feel any way you're good. Everything is fine. You're good. All right. But this video is for the racist. Yeah, absolute. The one that the Bible talks about that has a perpetual hatred. Perpetual hatred is perpetual hatred means a long standing it never goes away it is inherited it is marked in the dna the only time this perpetual hatred can go if they're saved underneath the blood of Yesiah. but once they carry the gene it's a satanic gene and i often do videos and i talk about the bloodline of satan this is it it's the racist when you want to know who are the bloodline, people ask me, Sister Karen, who are the bloodline of the devil? Who are the bloodline? Which nation? It's the racist. Because only Satan have this type of hatred. Normal human beings don't have this type of hatred, brothers and sisters. It's a demonic hatred. It's perpetual. And it's only passed down and given to you if you're from that bloodline of Satan. I'm going to do another video concerning something that the Lord has shown me. But anyways, brothers and sisters, so now you have the races up and down in Babylon, UK, creating havoc. And basically saying, look, we want immigrants and blacks and Muslim to, you know, to do one. We want them to leave our country. And the reason why they want us to leave the country is because they say that, you know, you're taking away our jobs. Let's quickly talk about that because I want to quickly go into the vision, but just hear me out. All right. So the first thing that they're saying, you're taking away our jobs. Okay. So are you educated? Did you go to university? So let's, for example, take a Nigerian doctor who have been educated in Nigeria, came over here, got a job working as a cardiologist or a whatever, but he's got his profession. So you want to take away that black doctor. You're saying that, that that black doctor has taken away your job when you haven't even finished college, haven't even finished school, haven't even had university training, hadn't had the medical training. But you're saying that black people are taking away your jobs. How is that? All right, I could understand if you're saying, you know, well, yeah, they're taking our jobs. So you're looking at the blacks and you're saying, well, these blacks that are cleaners, road, road sweepers, bin men, you know, unpacking stuff in supermarket, just the, you know, not the high ranking, high paid job. So you're still saying that the blacks are taking away your jobs, but yet still you're not going to apply for any jobs. So how do you expect your country to run? I'm just asking, since you're saying that black people are taking away, your, yes, I'm talking about black people. Because, yes, I know it's about Indians and Muslim, but 
I'm talking about black people because they're my people, all right? Um, and the racist thing is after them. So I want to just address the blacks, all right? So, you know, then if you're saying that you don't want, we're taking away your jobs, but yet still you're not going out to work. It, it doesn't make sense because we are technically building your country. But we are. And we have been doing that since slavery. It's not just yesterday. Our four parents, our same four parents who came over here in the 50s and the 60s, who, who your grandmothers and grandfathers and aunties and uncles in the 50s and 60s, Right, big massive notice on the door to say no blacks, no dogs, and I think they put no Irish as well. I don't know why I would turn against the old people, white people, but anyway, they put no Irish. So it doesn't make sense. But what it is, it's some it's you have to understand what's behind racism. It's not only about skin colour, it's a spiritual hatred. That is coming from um, Esau and Jacob. Perpetual. And so, when someone is racist, they cannot help themselves. You've got to understand that. There's no logics. There's no going over and talking and this and that because it's, it's engraved in the DNA. It's inherited. Because they're from the bloodline of Satan. This is a, this is who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the seed of Lucifer, what your Bible talks about. Because Satan has a nation on this earth. It is it is what it is, and that's why I'm going to do another video explaining why Satan has a nation on this earth. I'll explain it in another video. But I have a message from the Most High concerning the races. I have a very deep message from Ahaya concerning the races. And this is why I'm talking more about black people. Because this is what um, this video is geared towards. Yes, I know that obviously they're targeting the Muslims and, you know, asylum seekers of different nations and stuff. But I want to just address black people because we've been, we've been targeted. I had a vision on the 5th of August, 2020. 24. And in this vision, brothers and sisters, things was kicking off really, really bad over here in Babylon, UK, really, really kicking off. And the racists, they were on the street, going up and down, just intimidating people, carrying on. But one community, like I say, they targeted was the black community, the Hebrew Yashahelites. I'm not talking... And when I say black community, I'm not talking asylum seekers. I'm talking those who are born here, who are born in this country, or who have their British passport. They wasn't born here, but they obtained their British passport legally, like myself. I wasn't born here in Babylon, but I came here when I was pretty young, and I got my passport legally. British government gave me the passport, all right? So it's so these are the categories I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, you know, those lot who come on boats and they call them illegal immigrants. I'm not asylum seekers. I'm not talking about those people. So I'm talking about the Hebrew Yashahelites, the Hebrews, whose four parents went through the transatlantic slavery and were settled over here in Babylon, UK. In the vision, these thugs, hooligans, caveman behavior, as that's what it is from the Caucasus Mountain, isn't it? Caveman behavior. And they were going around causing problems, causing trouble. And it seems like the police force, it was getting out of hand. What I saw. It was getting out of hand. And now because they were targeting black people the ones that were born here who were so-called british and everything like that right it were getting out of hand 
and I saw in the vision these group of racists um, was coming towards a group of black people. And the black people were like backing away because the racist was so much. They didn't know that Babylon UK had so much racist in there. They do. <laughs> they do. And it's not Babylon UK alone. It's, it's yeah. Europe, it's, it's bad. But anyways, um, so in the vision, this group of white people uh, were coming towards this group of blacks. And the blacks were kind of like backing away and the whites were coming in into them. And I was standing somewhere just watching what was going on in the vision. And all of a sudden, brothers and sisters, I saw... I'm going to try to explain it. <clears throat> I saw one thick streak of lightning. There's one streak of lightning coming down from the heavens and branch out into about probably five, six streaks. And it began to stroke the races. I cannot lie. I never lies. He always fights for Yeshahel. He always fights for his people. So if those races think that they're going to come and hurt a highest people like that, they make a sad mistake. Because some supernatural things is going to happen over here in Babylon, UK. Especially when they start to come for the black community. At the moment, like I said, I've done the video because it's all strategic. This is all planned out. At the moment, they're targeting the so-called immigrants and asylum seekers and whatever whatever but it's going to come a time where they're going to be so brazen these races because the base is going to grow because their heart is full of hatred perpetual hatred it's a demonic hatred they can't help it and it's going to happen that these races are going to try to go into the black community because at the moment they're targeting what were they shopping centers and you know the asylum seekers hotel and and stuff like that but they're gonna enter into communities into black communities and that is where the most die they're gonna see the wrath of a higher you do not touch the hebrew yashahelites because at the ending of the day we serve and the reason why i don't talk about muslims and indians and pakistanis and stuff like that and I only focus this video on the black people, right? Is because the Hebrew Yashahelites, the Hebrew Israelites, right? We are coming off the back of slavery. You have to understand that. We're coming off the back of slavery, brothers and sisters. And... Our time, I want you to understand what I'm saying. The 400 years of slavery is literally, it's almost up. Like, some people say it's already up. Some people say just a little tiny, more time to go, and then it's going to be completely up, right? So the Bible has not prophesied that the Hebrew is going to go back into slavery. So this is why the Mosta is going to fight for us this time. He will. There's going to be some supernatural things happening when these people are going to try to go after the black community. Very, very sad mistake. But I saw the lightning coming down from the heavens, one thick streak, and it branched off and it began to stroke the races and they were falling to the floor. This is a very serious vision, brothers and sisters. I cannot lie, he never lies. And this is the reason why I talk about the second exodus. Because the exodus, it is time. We have to leave. Because you see the heart of the races towards black people. Like, there is no love. There's nothing you can do. You know, so, listen. I've spoken to people. We've talked about this. We talk about racism. How can we end racism? 
how what can we as black people do what can we as black people black people do to get the racist to like us nothing because it's perpetual it's in the bible perpetual hatred means long-standing it never goes away it goes on for eternity because unfortunately racist people carries the dna of satan because that is how satan hatred is it is perpetual it is eternal it is wicked somebody said to me oh we can end racism you know just marry each other different different race <laughs> i don't even want to go into that like what the Lord showed me concerning mixed marriages, and I've done a video concerning sh share, a share a law and, and, um, and marrying outside of your race. Because this thing is deep. I told us go beyond skin color. It's a spiritual thing. It's a, it's a rebellious thing towards the most high. Because I have because Ahaya has chosen a nation and that he brew Yashahelites. He's, he's making his decision. We didn't tell him to choose us. We didn't bow on our feet and say, oh, no, he chose a nation, brothers and sisters. He did. And his nation that he's chosen is a Hebrew, Yashahelite, I am telling you. And Satan knows this and he hates Jacob, like literally hates jacob so the lord is saying that if people don't repent and turn they're going to be in serious 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 trouble but this racist unrest over here in babylon uk um people are going to see the supernatural power of the most high the will because there's absolutely 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 no way no way we're coming off the back of slavery we're still going through our little you know what we're going through and more you know hatred on top of that no so the lord is gonna step in he will step in I've done the video, brothers and sisters. This isn't, you have to understand this stuff. Because you've got immigrants or, um, you've got immigrants or from like different country, you know, white people or immigrants or from different country, but they're immigrants here. I remember that they said they're going for the immigrants. So it's not about, this is more than skin color. Because they're not really troubling the immigrants of, um, of people of Caucasian color. So, for instance, if you're Polish and you, you know, you're over here or whatever, or you're Australian and you're white, they're not coming after you, even though you're immigrant. It's not about, it's more than skin color. This is a spiritual thing, brothers and sisters. They're mostly going after the black people and the Muslim, but the, the target is to target the blacks. The target the Hebrew Israelites because if Satan can intimidate the children of the Most High, which he can't, um, and bring us into a, 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 a situation of fear, then he's won. And that's not going to happen. Like, no way. Right? Um, but this is to do with the upcoming second exodus. Satan knows that the Hebrew in Britain is going to leave Babylon UK we're going home there's no if buts or maybe we're leaving Britain we're leaving Babylon it is going to happen brothers and sisters so the vision is powerful and it's a warning when the racists begin to target properly target properly target the black people the Hebrew Israelites over here in Babylon UK that is where it's going to go sour for a lot of them. I cannot lie. I never lie. There's going to be some supernatural stuff happening to these so-called racists. So if they know what's good for them, they best behave themselves and best seek the face of Aya. 
And like I say, brothers and sisters, I know I'm repeating myself. You know, the so-called Axel has been arrested. The 17-year-old the, 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 the is 18 now. The 18-year-old, the time 17, who unallowed those three little white girls and injured 10 little more white kids, he's been arrested, he's in police custody, he's going for trial. That's a fallen angel anyways, right? So if the police have captured the person who have done this wicked thing, why going out in the community to kill off everybody? Because that's what you're leading to. It's not all about burning down buildings eventually because people don't understand how this thing works. When you're consumed with this amount of hatred and bitterness, then the demonics enter into you. I mean, they already carry the bloodline of Satan anyway. So anyways, I'm going to do a video concerning that one. Then it's only one going to leave for you to begin to unalive people. So the most is not going to stand for that. You going around unaliving black people. Every black people you see unalive them. Every black person that walks the street, whether it's babies, young kids, you, you begin to unalive. The dirty devil is alive. Satan, you are a liar. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Yesiah. There is no truth in you and your people. So the enemy will not win. And this is why Aya is going to step in. I'm telling you. He is going to step in, brothers and sisters. He will step in. At the moment, I don't know um, concerning the Muslims, because I know that after the Muslims and the, um, the asylum seekers sort of thing like. But it's going to turn and they're going to go for the blacks. They're going to, they're going to go into the black communities, like in people's neighborhood. It's only a matter of time. They're rallying up the base because their heart is filled with this hatred. It's horrible. And they're destroying their own country. They say that they want British value. That's what they said. They said they want to bring back British sovereignty. But they're acting like cave people. So are you going to bring back British sovereignty, sovereignty when you're acting like a hooligan? They said they want to bring back British values. How are you going to do that? What are, your British, what are you showing us as immigrants? Is there a British value going around smashing up stuff, hating on other people? That's not British values. That is demonic values. That's what it is, demonic values. And they say they want to stop illegal immigrants to come into their country. This isn't about illegal immigrants. This is about they don't want to see anybody that looks different from them. They want to wake up in the morning, go to the supermarket, walk on the street and see the same person, see, see a reflection of them. They don't want to see no black people walking past them. These are the racists I'm talking about. Like I said, if, you, if you're not racist, this video is not for you. You know this video isn't for you. So this is literally for the racist. So to say they want to stop illegal immigrants from coming in their country... It's not about illegal immigrants. It is literally about don't want anybody that don't look like them in this country. That's what it is. And then they're saying that, you know, they're not saying it, they're not saying it out loud, but it's a part of the agenda. And it's the woman. Because part of the racist um, beef with black people, especially black men, is that our black men are marrying into their woman, into their white woman, and they absolutely hate it. You don't want to see nothing wind the racism like a black man taking away their woman. It's not too bad when their men marry a black woman because it is to do with dominance, because they know that, okay, if the white man marries the black woman, you know, the white guy is dominant, isn't it? Because he's a man. So they're not really worried about that. But they don't want nobody to have no dominance over them. This is the racist I'm talking. Like, yeah. So when a black man marries their white ladies, you know that that black man's got the dominance. And they don't want nobody to have any dominance over the, over, over, over the racist. Like, no. So this... I've done a video about this already. 
And when I did the video, I did the video about three years ago. People didn't understand it. I said, oh, Sister Karen, you are causing trouble. You, you discriminate. They just didn't understand the spiritual aspect where, from where I'm coming from. Because, and I'm going to talk a bit more in the videos that I'm going to do. Because at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, whether you like it or not, all these mixed marriages... I'm talking black men and black women, white women and black men, all these mixed marriages, all these mixed relationships. A time is coming where they will have to choose a side. It is what it is. I'm being honest. I'm, being, I'm telling you the truth. They will have to choose a side. Just as all the racists is stopping cars and looking into the cars and saying, are you English or are you white? When things get really, really, really bad, brothers and sisters, and they know that you're married outside of your race, God, they're going to know. They're going to know who's married. Or they're going to find addresses. They will. And when they contact you and say, oh, listen to me, you know, you're married to this black man. We want him. Then you've got to choose a side. You, you, will, you will have to choose a side. This is where we're going into. This is racism, brothers and sisters. I don't think people understand the depths of this thing. It's more than skin color. It's a spiritual thing. And it's not like, you know, I'm against. People can marry who they want, right? It's up to them. You do exactly what you want. It is absolutely your life. You do what you want. But at the end of the day, coming from a spiritual perspective, it's in the end run, in the ending of days, in the long run, it is going to turn bitter. Because even though you're married into, you know, certain things, when these racists come to your wife's home, and you know that your, your wife is not racist, she's not. But when these people find your wife and then say, look, where's your husband? Where's the black husband? We need him. Then she will have to choose a side. It is that simple. This is serious stuff. And I have to talk about these things. Because this is where we are leading up to. This is called Jacob's trouble. This is called Jacob's trouble, brothers and sisters. Because the perpetual hatred is real. But I know where the black community, where the black community over here in Babylon, UK, is concerned. The most die is going to step in when they, you know, begin to target. When they begin to target the black community, because that's what they're after. It's the, it's the second exodus. It's all to do with the second exodus. Because Satan knows that we live in Babylon and he don't want us to leave. He wants to torture us. <laughs> we, we continue to go through 400 years of rubbish, right? But dirty devil is a lie. There's no truth in it. It is what it is, brothers and sisters. We have to talk about these things. Because we're in the ending of days. Literally in the ending of days. And we have to, have to talk about these things. And like I say, people will have mixed marriages, marrying outside of your race. The time is coming when you've got to choose a side. And if you choose to stick up for your black husband and you're saying to these races, look, I'm not shopping in my husband you know what's going to happen to you. I'm telling you. But you heard it here on this channel. But I've been talking about this for three years. This is a prophecy. It's called, I did it underneath a Shara Law video. A video called Shara Law. But this is real and this is coming. And that's why Haya have me talking for more, nearly five years about the coming great worldwide second exodus. We've got to leave Babylon. We have to leave Babylon. There's no if, buts, or maybe. We have to leave. And we're going, brothers and sisters. But I wanted to come and do this video. And it was a little bit, might be a bit tight for some people because it's like, oh, you know, talking. But like I say, and I know I'm repeating myself, look, if you're not racist, this video is not for you. You're good. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. It's not for you. You know that. But there are people out there. That is racist. You've seen it right now going on in Babylon, UK. We have to talk about it. We have to talk about it. 
and understanding where it's coming from. It's more than skin color. It's a spiritual thing. Literally, it's a spiritual thing. It's, you know, it's a bloodline of Satan, these people. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. What time is it? Yeah. Be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch of the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most Ahaya, who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon someday in glory in your sire's holy name. Amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you forth last before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Messiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.